everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Becker Designs. This week on my blog, I am using the Adorning Hearts Bundle. This is a really, really fun bundle. Um, there are some brayer techniques that you can do with this bundle. I've got two brayer videos if you're looking for ideas for using the brayer. For today's project, we're not gonna use the brayer. Um, we're gonna use these intricate dies right here that go on the inside of the hearts. And we're gonna make this box that holds the little Debbie strawberry Valentine cake. So that's why, let's see if I can slide this back in. That is why we also have a strawberry heart. Cute, right? All right, so here are the little Debbie snacks. If you're looking for these in your area, I will have the little Debbie snack finder linked on my blog. You can enter your zip code and it'll tell you what stores in your area have these. And um, there's also some chocolate ones as well. I don't know if they're strawberry flavored. I think they're just chocolate and vanilla, but they would work. They would fit in this box as well. All right, well, let's go ahead and make the box first, all right? All right, for the box bottom, you're gonna need a piece of crumb cake that is five and a half by nine inches. On the long side, you're gonna score it at, whoa, I almost did it wrong, one and an eighth, four and a fourth, five and three eighths, and eight and a half. Okay, and then on the short side, you're gonna score it at one and at four and a half. For your flirty flamingo piece, you're going to score the long side at one, four, five, and eight, and then turn it on the short side and score it at one. All right, now the crumb cake piece, we're gonna start here, this is the box uh, top, okay? And we're gonna make it so that it has a rounded edge on the bottom. The bottom of the box half doesn't have a rounded edge. I just felt like maybe it wasn't quite necessary, but the, the lid will have that rounded edge. All right, so fold all those, or burnish all your score lines, and you can see down here we have this half inch piece, or this half inch um, strip. You're gonna cut off those rectangles. And then when you cut it off, do it at an angle right there, right? So just an angle, and then we're gonna cut that off, okay? So there's what it looks like at first. Now, on one of these long sides, it doesn't matter which one, you're gonna take your tear and tape, which mine, hello, where did it go? Oh, here it is. Okay, it's hiding. Take your tear and, tear and tape and put this all the way down, okay? And then take off your backing and fold it up. All right, so now we have that rounded smooth edge. Okay, now take your snips and snip the score lines on the other long side. And on these middle square, the middle square tab and the outside square tab, just cut off those corners like that. Okay, snip, snip. And it looks like I cut on the outside of that score line, so I'm gonna trim that just a bit. There we go. All right, I hope I have enough tear and tape left. Looks like I'm almost out. All right, tear and tape on that half inch strip that we cut the corners off of at the very beginning. And then you're gonna fold this over and fold this over and make the ends meet. Now, where you have folded over that first edge, it's a little bit stiff. So you might wanna take your bone folder and just kind of burnish those lines. Tell them to lay down where they're supposed to. All right, so there we have that rounded edge. Now take your sides first the back is where this rough edge is here. Fold the back in first, and then fold in the front flap. The front flap will be the last one. That'll give you all three edges will be rounded on the front. There we go. All right, so make sure it's square when you close it. And there you go. Okay, so there is the lid. Now let's make the bottom. And the bottom is very similar, except that it only has the one section. It doesn't have that rounded edge. 
I wanted to make the, the lid just a little bit sturdier. All right, so now again, with that half inch section, cut off that rectangle, cut that one at a corner or at an angle, cut that one at an angle, that half inch. Then on the long side, come down and cut these like that. Snip and snip. All right, same drill. A little bit of tear and tape right here. Well, come on. There we go. Fold it in half like that. Fold that over. And then we're going to fold in those sides. Fold in the back. See that rough edge? The back right there. And then we'll do the front. Okay, come on. There we go. Make sure you're square. And push that down. I like to take my bone folder and just kind of rub it down, make sure it's, it's sticking. All right, so now you're gonna take your box bottom and stick your little Debbie cakes in there like that. And then the box lid folds over like that and it sits on top. Now I have cut a piece of the, uh, this is from our uh, print, painted lavender, perennial lavender designer series paper. And I'm gonna put it right here. The measurements and the supply list for this will be on my blog. There is a free PDF that will have all of it there for you. Um, I'm gonna grab my ribbon and we're gonna tie the ribbon on the side. This is the, the burlap ribbon. It comes with a uh, real red. It comes in a ribbon combo pack, real red and burlap, which to me is just crumb cake. Oh, I don't have my ribbon scissors. Oh, yes, I do. Let's see if these will cut better. There we go. All right, so there's the box. Now let's make our cute strawberry tag. Um, ahead of time, I have cut out some things already. I cut this uh, real red heart right here from these little dies, the little, um, the little heart die, okay? Then I cut two flirty flamingo hearts from this bigger die. I cut two garden green sprigs, and that is that right there. Okay, now we're gonna pick two of these. It doesn't matter which ones you pick. I think I'm gonna choose this one and this one. And I'm gonna put an adhesive sheet on the back of my cardstock. An adhesive sheet will turn your cardstock into a sticker, which is so much easier when you are um, going to adhere something that's real skinny like that. All right, so I'm gonna put this adhesive sheet on the back like that. And then I'm gonna take my scissors. These adhesive sheets come 12 by 12, but I like to use them as I go so I don't waste anything. So I'll save that for another project. All right, now you see it has this backing on it. That's gonna be the backing we peel off when we're done. So bring over, cut an emboss machine, and let's see. Now I'm gonna make sure that I've got all the little doodads poked out of here. You can use your die brush for this or your take your pick tool. It seems like they really wanna hang on, okay? All right, now let's run it through. And we will get these to come out like that. There's one. And then we'll get the other one. That's two. All right, bring over your, your puffy hearts. These are kind of like fatter, puffier hearts. And you're gonna carefully peel off that backing. Okay. 
and we're gonna stick that right in the middle. You can see how it's a little bit smaller than the heart. Okay, let's repeat with this one. If you have trouble getting the backing off, take your, take your pick tool and just kind of peel it back like that. It'll help get it started and then you can just pull it off. All right, so this is tone on tone, flirty flamingo top on the top layer, flirty flamingo on the bottom la layer. But I'm gonna take my wink of Stella and I'm gonna brush inside the little intricate designs. Okay. Do, do little dots. This is just gonna give us a little bit of variation. Okay, we'll come over here. You could, if you wanted to, brush the whole entire puffy heart before you put the top layer down. But I just found that this was pretty easy to do. And kind of fun. Kind of like a little maze for your Wink of Stella. Okay, now for the heart. I'm gonna use my silicone mat. Um, this silicone mat comes with the uh, glass mat, which is something you can get for free in your starter kit in the rest of, for the rest of the month in February, if you like. It's really cool for using things like this that are kind of messy. Um, you can just go take it to the sink and wash it, which is great. So I've put a, just a tiny little dot of Whisper White reinker, and I've got my real red heart, and I've got a toothpick. And I'm just gonna add some little hearts as I go. Now, the only problem with this is that it takes quite some time to dry. So you're gonna have to set it aside for a while or, oh no, or, let's see, I got a drip there, so let's turn that into a heart. Or take your heat tool and dry it. This is craft ink, which is what you would use for embossing. So the heat tool will do that as well. All right, so once you get all your little dots, you're gonna have to set it aside to dry um, for the sake of the video, I have one that's already done. All right, here's the one that I did yesterday. I'm gonna take just a little bit of glue. Oh, that was a little more than a little bit. Am I the only one that makes a mess with glue? Please tell me I'm not. All right, I'm gonna stick this one right here in the middle of that glue. And then on the back, <clears throat> I'm gonna Come on, just a little dot glue, be nice. There we go, that's what you were supposed to do the first time. All right, and we'll stick that one in the back like that. And then you just kinda wanna adjust them. Well, come on, do what I told you to do. Well, maybe this one just doesn't wanna stay on. You know what you can do is take a dimensional, because we're gonna put a dimensional on the back of this anyway. And I'm just gonna stick that dimensional on top. There we go. Okay, now last thing is our tag. This is a really fun new die set called Thoughtful Expressions. I'm putting an asterisk next to that because that sounds right, I think. Check my supply list, guys, it'll be right there. All right, I'm gonna stamp, I love this sentiment. You are most loved in crumb cake. And then, We'll put our two perfect chubby little hearts and our one somewhat imperfect <laughs> strawberry. After this video, I'm gonna need to do a little doctoring. Oh, I already put a dimensional here, we don't need that. I'm gonna need to do a little doctoring on our heart. Pretend like it looks perfect, okay? There we go. All right, now bring it over here and I put it right along this edge so it kind of covers up the edge the bottom edge of the box. Dimensionals and your tag. How cute is that? Super fun. Let's look at the other one where the strawberries looks a lot better. Now the box will sit up tall or you can push it all the way down. I kind of like it tall like that. It just depends on how you want it. All right, you guys, 
there you go. I hope you enjoyed this project. I've got five total projects um, this week featuring the adorning hearts. Make sure you check them out on my blog. Grab that free PDF and let me know if you have any questions. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye.